All right, welcome to our scene on Pan Coast Tumor, represented by this pan over here on the roller coaster. Pan on the roller coaster for Pan Coast Tumor. And the reason why he's going to the apex of this roller coaster over here is to help us remember that a Pan Coast Tumor affects the apex of the lungs, and there it can compress or invade local structures. And that's what we find in Pan Coast Syndrome. Let's talk about that. So let's zoom in on this guy over here for a moment. So here we see the pan guy up close, and let's look at his features, because these are going to represent the findings seen in pan coast syndrome. So the first thing we note over here are his eyes. They're very droopy. The eyelids are very droopy. And this is because when the nerves of the stellate ganglion are compressed, it could lead to Horner syndrome, in which there's ptosis on the same side of the tumor. And that's why he has droopy eyelids. Similarly, he has a constricted pupil over here. Because again, when the stellate ganglion is compressed, it leads to meiosis, constriction of the pupil. Finally, and I'll just give this away, it's very hot outside, but he's not sweating. He has a lack of sweating. He, ha he has anhydrosis. The third symptom seen in Horner syndrome, when the stellar ganglion is compressed, is anhydrosis. And this is seen when a pancos tumor compresses the stellar ganglion. Next, we see over here that he has a horse in his mouth. And this is going to remind us of the hoarseness seen when a pancos tumor compresses the recurrent laryngeal nerve. We see that the superior vena cava here is being compressed. To help us remember that when the superior vena cava is compressed, it leads to superior vena cava syndrome. Similarly, when the brachiocephalic vein is compressed, it leads to brachiocephalic syndrome. Take a look at his brachial plexus over here. It's being compressed. A pancos tumor can compress the brachial plexus, and a person will experience sensory motor deficits. For example, he will have weakness, numbness, and tingling in the arm. He may also experience shoulder pain. Finally, and my favorite part, we see the frantic nerve over here. It's a very frantic nerve. He's very scared, this nerve over here. He's frantic. To help us remember the phrenic nerve. When the phrenic nerve is compressed by a pancos tumor, it can lead to hemidiaphragm paralysis. And on chest x-ray, hemidiaphragm elevation will be seen. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on pancos tumor. Take care.